What's up guys, it's Matt Hollins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today I'm talking about Power Automate, talking about expressions, and we're going to talk about the min function. So what is min? Min is the ability to pass in um, a bunch of values, either in an array or um, in sort of other formats uh, separated by commas, and then it will return the minimum value out of those um, values that you pass in. So it's a math function. It's basically used for um, you know math-like issues, um, and can be quite useful in some circumstances. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate here. Um, I have a manual trigger flow, uh, which I'm not worried about too much, and I have a compose action here. So if I click into compose and click over to expression, I can scroll across a little bit, and then we'll scroll down until we get to math functions. So we've got this one here, so min, uh, and the parameters you can pass in are either a collection or item one, item two. And it says returns the minimum value from the input uh, from the input array of numbers. So you can either put in a series of numbers. So if you are getting numbers from different locations, um, say multiple sources, uh, multiple um, triggers, multiple lookups of records, and things like that, you can actually um, code them in one by one uh, and separate them by commas um, using the dynamic content or you can actually pass in a collection. So if you have them all in an array already, you can actually pass in the array and then it'll just return the minimum value. So if we click min, and uh, what we will do is we'll pass in some numbers. So we'll pass in the number 53, uh, also comma, uh, 87, comma, 5, comma, 98. Um, now, notice I'm not putting any sort of quotation marks, either single or double around these. Um, that's because we're going to treat these as numbers and not as strings. And min is a math function and therefore requires numbers. So once we're happy with that, we'll click OK. And that'll go into the Compose box there. And we can test this out. So uh, I'll perform the trigger action. And we'll just hit Run Flow. We don't need a text input. And it runs successfully. And we can see it's output number five. So five was the lowest value that we had there. But what happens if you want to pass an array and how does that work? So what we'll do is we've got our two compose actions here. We'll just remove the values from each of them. Uh, in compose, we will type create array. So I create an array and we're going to create this with a series of numbers. So we'll, we'll put in 23, 67, 45, 89, uh, 20, 34, and 2. Uh, a little tip, this uh, this tooltip um, box pops up um, quite a bit when you're um, creating functions and expressions. Uh, one handy way to get rid of it is actually just click on an, uh, a function that you're working on and it'll disappear, which is kind of handy. So we have our array here, so we'll input that. And then in compose2, we will use our min function. So we'll go to min, we'll expand that, and again, we've got the pop-up box, so we'll click min, go to dynamic content, and we'll choose the output from the previous step. So the output from the previous step is actually this create array. So we are passing in the array that we're creating in the first step uh, into this step, and it'll look through those values and then um, output the minimum uh, value in there. So we clicked OK, it's gone in there, and we'll test it again. Save and test, run flow, click done. So we can see that in the first step, we've created this array full with all these numbers, 23, 67, 45, 89, 34, and two. And in this one, we should see the number two. There we go. So. This has a lot of potential, especially if you ever need to do any checks. So you may need to do things like um, check to see if the minimum value is a certain number and if that's below or over a certain threshold, do different actions depending on what that is. So you could have something like um, if you are, um, maybe you want to count the number of open opportunities on your account and that returns back as a, um, a number. And maybe you want to run this over multiple accounts. You could pull all those numbers in, 
find the one with the minimum uh, the minimum number and then maybe do a look up to that and you know do some work on that or maybe you have um, a questionnaire that you're filling out um, and you don't put all those in, all those numbers into a thing and if um, the minimum number uh, coming out is you know a, you know a two um, when you want really want a ten then you could maybe follow up with that person doing the questionnaire and say hey why did you give me a two I really think it should be a 10 and, and flag things up that way. So I think this is really useful. I think it's really powerful. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below what you're using this for or what you will use this for in the future. Uh, if you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. It's always appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want, you can follow me on Twitter at D365Deek or uh, check out my blog at D365Deek.co.uk uh, or find me on LinkedIn. Details are on the last slide. I uh, hope this is useful, and I'll see you next time.